Hey y'all, I'm Bo. Today, we're building a CFT worm bin. Let's go. guys well the bottom frame is done and I apologize for not being able to show you uh, all of it being built because I didn't realize the camera died so just to give you a quick rundown of what the dimensions of the this is the base frame so the base frame itself 92 inches long by roughly 30 and a half wide. Now, these are not the best boards in the world. They're twists and bowed and all that kind of stuff. As you can see, it rocks a little bit. But once all the weight of the dirt and the, the worms and the compost and all that kind of stuff are in here, it'll even out and you won't see this wobble ever. So. We have one more thing to do to this before we start putting on the top, and that is to cut up all those pipes. So, let me get that cut up, and I'm going to explain to you what they are going to do. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Well, <clears throat> pipes are cut. About to do the install. But I wanted to, I wanted to say something for those who do not know. So. This is three quarter inch PVC that I'm using in this build. But even though it says three quarters of an inch, please don't be fooled because this is pipe, okay? A three quarter inch is a nominal diameter, but it's not the actual diameter of this pipe. The actual diameter of this pipe is an inch and 16. So when doing y'all's builds or when y'all designs one for you and you're, actually, and you're going to use a PVC pipe or any pipe in general whether it's conduit whether it's uh, stainless steel carbon steel anything along those lines any type of word that says pipe you need to understand that the nominal diameter may be, may be what it says but the actual diameter of the pipe is going to be larger okay so let's get to the install okay so So then I, I have 92 inches to cover. So my first one's going to go here. My second one is actually going to go. Can y'all see me? 
Probably not. He's actually go, gonna go down here. Sorry guys, I'm still not great at this YouTube thing and I'm most definitely not a camera person. So, let me see if I can't get a better angle. So give me one second. But this one has to be perfect. Because if it ain't, everything else gets thrown off. Are you recording? Oh, hi YouTube. <laughs> so, this very first one here at the end and at the other end down there needs to be almost perfect so what you want you want it to be right up against the edge okay and the whole point for that is when you have your cover sitting right here you're not going to have any compost or castings behind the pipe where it's not accessible to you you may have some in this valley right here but you know okay but which your main thing is when you're scraping here you want this to kind of roll this way okay so this first one needs to is, is probably the most crucial the second one's a secondary most crucial I lost my drill again right. found it and all I'm gonna do is drill one single hole in each end and we're going to put a screw right here so what you want is a very very slow so as to not back off of it and then you can kind of speed it up once you get in And the same thing on this end. And we're going to go ahead and secure this one. And unfortunately, I do not have two different drills, only this one. So I have to change the bit every single time. I was looking for you earlier. Okay, sorry. Set your, your chuck on one of the lower settings so it does not bend your pipe or break it. It's okay if it squishes it a little bit. What you don't want is to ram it down and crack your pipe. You don't want any kind of water getting in your pipe down here. Okay? It's PVC, it's plastic, it's going to bend a little bit, but as long as you're paying attention to it, maybe that's too low. Alright, first one installed. Forty-nine more to go. I'm kidding. Forty-five more to go. So that's the first one. So 
I'm not gonna, it's the same process down that way. But I do want to show you how to set your spacings for your next one. So your spacing. Oh, and little, I'm sorry, little tip, okay? These things come from your big box stores, whether it be Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, Tractor Supply, whatever. They're very dirty, very dusty, and you have no clue what's been crawling inside of them or what's been crawling on them. If you're going to use this kind of stuff in your worm farm, please make sure you wash it because there's no telling what's all over these things. Okay. So, how do you get your spacings? Well, you get two of them. You get one, you get your other one. This is the one you're going to drill, and this is going to be your next one to move to the next, and so on and so forth until you run out of pipe. Let's put the cushion end on this end. No. You're going to be difficult, aren't you? That's okay. There are ways around it. Technical difficulties. <laughs> I can't do that because I need that. Look at you using your big brain. <laughs> but how are you going to do the next one? The next one's not going to be so hard because it's actually going to be right here. So I have actually something to clamp to. I just do, couldn't find anything to clamp to on that one. What'd you do? I don't know. It's probably those thorn flowers outside when I was washing. So, so one of the things that you also want your pipe to come right to the edge of your wood. If your pipe is anything shallower than this, then your worms are going to find a way in it and they're going to live in your pipe. That, that, that stuff's going to dry out and your worms, you'll have end up with dead worms inside your pipe. So make sure your pipe is going all the way to the edge of your frame.
drill mode. process is simply rinse and repeat. See you when it's done. All right, guys, well, grids are in. So I guess the next part is going to put up the sides. And, oh, hello. Can you say, hey, YouTube? This is Eden. Say hi, Eden. Stupid wasp. Back off. Ah! Wasp tried to kill me. So, grids are done. Next thing to do is put up the sides. And then we're going to finish this thing up. Okay? And then the next thing, after all of that, is to relocate the Red Wigglers. Because this one is a Red Wiggler farm. Or the Red Wiggler CFT. And then after that, we have we still have our European Nightcrawler uh, CFT bin to do. So, ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, let's get it done. There's a wasp trying to kill me because I try to kill it. He's angry, but I think he gave up. I win.
I well it ain't perfect but it's done so let's go over a couple things that I made mistakes on and a couple things that I would change that uh, on the next spin I'm going to do so first things first when you're buying your lumber so I originally meant this to be 96 inches wide well the actual framing lumber the bottom lumber um, that I bought was not 96 inches so if you're gonna buy eight foot long boards make sure you get eight foot long boards bring a tape measure with you and make sure they're eight feet long so I had to modify some uh, some dimensions now which means I had to cut down I originally meant for these panels to be 96 inches long and then I was going to cut the frame inside well these are 96 inches but the frame was only 92 so the frame itself was not long enough to accommodate this these side panels being 96 inches so when you're going to the store make sure you buy make sure you're getting what you what you think you're paying for okay second and this is probably this is probably my biggest issue is that when putting this plastic on I had a very 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 hard time um, so on my next the next build I'm actually going to put the plastic on before I put these panels on and the only thing that I will have to do is cover up, is modify the corners uh, of inside plastic to make sure that they are perfectly fine and all that kind of stuff. But that's what I'm going to do next time. Uh, let's see, what other, oh, make sure that this is three quarter inch, this is inch and a half. I only bought three inch long screws. Make sure you're buying the hardware you need for the application that you need it in. Inch and a half, three quarter, you need two inch screws. Not three, you're gonna end up poking through. I actually ended up poking through on the bottoms, so we're gonna to have to be very careful on that kind of thing. It's some issues down there. But, not too much because not too many people are gonna be reaching their hands on these there. Other than that, I think it went pretty smooth um, so I do want to show you the slight modification that I made um, so these plank uh, this design I ended up uh, I and I, I watched Captain Matt's on YouTube channel he's a he, he's a worm guy he's uh, and he has a lot of these types of bins I'm like okay well I wouldn't mind having that size bin so I went to his website, pulled down his plans, they're free, and ended up looking at his designs. I'm like, okay, that's not exactly what I need. Uh, I want to do something a little different. So I modified these plans to fit what I'm about to show you. So give me one second. I'm going to come around to the camera and I'm going to show you something. So we are down here underneath, and I ended up getting these little trays right here from Walmart or Home Depot. Shoot, I can't remember. Okay, these are mortar bent uh, mortar trays. So I measured it, and I wanted the mortar trays. I wanted these trays to sit to sit inside. There's going to be a number of them going across. Okay, but when I scrape underneath and the castings come down I want them falling in these bins so Captain Matt has them falling on the floor and he ends up raking them out I don't want to do that kind of work so I'm using catch bins so I modified the width of, the, uh, of what I found on his site to fit these bins and I actually encouraged you to do, to do the same 
you can actually modify this a number of ways. You can create shelves, you know, um, all that kind of stuff. But I wanted them to sit down here and I want to clean up as little waste as possible. So that's pretty much in, in a nutshell. I ended up buying some twisted boards, but it seems to be pretty stable. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, once all the compost and bedding and worms are in there. Oh yeah, that's gonna work just fine. How heavy is this thing? Yep, yeah, that's pretty doggone heavy. It can be moved by me, but it's not small. So the dimensions of this thing are overall it is 96 and a half inches long by 35 and a quarter wide inside dimensions which is how you're going to calculate your cubic feet is 92 uh, 30 we'll say 30 and a half okay so 92 by 30 and a half and I believe it was 19 feet you go to the top you measure up to the top of the rail so we're going to estimate 19 D. So, calculate cubic feet, 92 inches times 30.5 inches times 19 inches is 53.314 cubic inches. To get cubic feet, you divide that by 144 and that's 370 cubic feet. That's a lot. To get the cubic yardage, divide that by three. That's 123 cubic yards in this bin. I'm gonna double check my math before I post this. And if I'm incorrect, I'll tell you right up here. I'll do the math for you up here. But 123 cubic yards. That's a lot of worm castings. How much does it weigh? have no clue but I can almost bet probably anywhere from a quarter ton maybe I don't know I have to figure how much how much one itty bitty worm casting does or how much a cubic yard of worm castings weighs and then we can calculate total weight of worm castings if y'all are interested in that so, y'all, I want to thank y'all for joining me on this journey. Um, if y'all like this content and you want to see more, um, our next part is going to be moving day for our worms. We're going to be putting them in here and we're going to start filling it up. Now, to, in order to fill this up, it should take about six months. Okay? So, don't think that it's going to be instant. Uh, I don't have enough material to fill this thing up and I have two bins I have to fill so yay um, it's gonna be a minute so but I do have a pile of compost out there I've got some leaves I got some grass and I've got some worms so we're gonna start filling this thing up uh, and if y'all want to see that well stay tuned for the next one so don't forget to like share and subscribe thank y'all for watching and God bless